What up everyone, it's the Evil Collector, back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the Syndicate Collectibles Pumpkinhead 112 scale figure, which I'm so happy to finally have. I ordered it back in August and they took forever and had delays and whatnot, but they finally showed up this week. So let's go ahead and check out the box. On the side, you get nothing much but the image of Pumpkinhead, the name. On the back, same thing, nothing much, you get special. Same thing on the side. Mine, currently, Syndicate sent me a, a beat up one. It's okay though, good thing I'm not an inbox collector. UPC right there, pause it right there. On the inside, we're gonna open it up, take a look. Nothing can call it off. So once you bring him back and wake him up, he, that's it. He's gonna do everything he has to do to kill, whoever he has to kill. That'll really dope looking figure. Key way to get him out the box and uh, check him out. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this Vato out the box and let's see what pumpkin head is all about. So here we have pumpkin head out the box and definitely one of my favorite figures guys. He's a really cool figure that Syndicate put together. And I'm so happy to finally have it. It's added to my collection. I used to have the movie maniacs one from the McFarlane back in the early 2000s but it really didn't have articulation at all. I think just the shoulder movement and the wrists and maybe the head turn. I'm not too sure. It was a long time ago. But um, anyways, let's check out all his accessories. Let's pop this light back on here. Let's look at his two other head scopes he comes with, which look really cool. This one looks really badass. Just like a basic, like, you know I got it, girl. You got the big bird brain. Really cool detail they put into this. I'm happy it's mounted into the neck so it just moves the neck around because I don't need him to do no special uh, Hadouken or nothing because he doesn't do that. He just kills. <laughs> the other head he comes with, real menacing looking. It's not yelling like the other one he has on, but these are pretty cool. Dun -dun -dun. For those who remember Street Fighter when they will come out. Ah. Uh, Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry, not Street Fighter. <laughs> but anyways, these are really cool looking head scopes. They really killed it. Look at the detail on the teeth, man. Crazy. Good looking stuff. And he only comes with one right hand closed just to hold the crucifix, which is pretty cool. I wish it came with two of them at least so I could put the crucifix or the cross on his uh, right left hand also, but well, beggars can't be choosy. Man, it's like a face hugger. <laughs> Crazy man, those nails, crazy, crazy, crazy. It's my word today, crazy guys. And then of course the cross, it comes with might. If you remember watching the first one where he grabs it and he's like, ugh, and I think he throws it or something. Pretty cool, basic cross, but the scoping on it's dope, you know? It's what it is. The power of Christ compels you. And of course, let's check out the man of the hour. One who's gonna hit. AKA Pedro Rodriguez, that's nah, another thing. <laughs> so, really cool. The articulation, let's just check out the articulation while we're at it real quick. Um, he has a bendy tail, which is cool. I'm happy to give him that. We didn't need the one that was just already sculpted. He looks up, not much. Looks down, not much. Head moves around, because it's on a ball pick. Let's see. Oh, so there you go. We're gonna go ahead and put this head on here. And there you go. Real menacing looking. Oh, that's, yeah, man, I love it. <laughs> so the shoulder movement moves up all the way around. It's gonna hinge just from the shoulders. It has a good joint right there. Single jointed elbow. You don't need them to do much. And then the wrist swivel with the hinge. Be careful they don't want that to break and then you're screwed. You don't have another hand to put in there. This torso movement, I want to say it's on a ball pit because it moves around really good. It has a good range. Leans forward that much, leans back that much. It does have waist movement, but it's very, very limited. Man, look at the scope on this. It looks crazy, just like if he just came out of the movie. He doesn't have a split with that, that good. Thigh cut, no thigh cut, just moves up and down. So he kicks up that much, and he kicks back that much. And you got his um, knees, you gotta be careful with that. It has like a little slot to move it up. 
very little. Not that he, I don't know why he would kick off that much, but he does that. And then he has another hinge back here in the on the back of his toe or his foot, I guess. Is that supposed to be his foot or just an extra piece of his leg? So just be careful with that. It goes back that much. And then he has a swivel on his toes. So it swivels pretty good and it moves back and forth pretty good. It not go forward that much. And then of course it swivels around. And there you go, man. Pumpkin head, AKA the devourer of world aspirin. That's good like it's not pumpkin head. And he looks intimidating, guys. I like it. So if you want him to hold the cross, let's see, it's going to pop that hand on. The tail does, oh, it does have a hinge here too, bro. It's pretty cool. And it doesn't move around, but it just goes back and goes down and goes up with the bendy. I guess you can help him for support in the standing. So like I said, this is only a right hand he comes with. Hopefully it doesn't snap off. I might probably get a hair dryer to loosen it up. I don't want to snap and break the little piece in there. But there you go, guys. The power of Christ compels him. <laughs> Let's do some size comparisons with a pumpkin head. We have from also NECA, we have the Alien from the first movie, Alien. Or from Alien. And then Jason from Freddy vs. Jason. To me, this is the. I love this Jason, it looks cool. So as, as you can see, Pumpkinhead towers the alien by half an inch maybe, and about an inch over um, Jason. And then some other size comparisons. I'll move the alien real quick. And uh, my Hannibal Lecter, which <laughs> is a chiquito compared to Pumpkinhead. Oh, the FYI, just a follow up. I was able to get the straps locked on. On Hannibal Lecter so I had to push the dolly the, the the wire well not the wire but the I can't talk today these latches latched on right here and then the straps there you go I'm sorry straps <laughs> the strap was able to go around this the, the truck dolly here to connect it and then it went in the strap went in inside in between here and locks in the front of him right there so I was able to, it took a while, but I was able to get it. Just for any of you that want to know if I was able to get them stuck together. But it, yeah, man, he's he's pretty on there. He's not going nowhere. And let's say unstrap it. But yeah, that's pumpkin it right there with uh, uh, Hannibal Lecter. And then other comparisons to other figures from other lines, I was just going to throw in. I have my uh, Ultimate Edition Crane. The Deluxe Edition, Ultimate Edition, I don't know. Here's my, uh, what is it, the 80th anniversary of the Hulk. The remake of that toy biz, but Hasbro redid it. I think it was last year or the year before. And Pumpkinhead towers him, man. And someone's asking me, "Do you have anyone that towers him?" I'm like, "Actually, I do." And his name is Super Android 13 from Dragon Ball Z uh, movie Three Saiyans, or it's called Super 13, which is him right here. This is from Jack Specific. Oh no, not not Jack Specific. I correct me. Uh, it is if labs that was a company that made these movie collection toys back in like the early 2000s and i still have this one because to me he's bulky he's supposed to be bigger than goku and all them just like in the movie definitely check out that movie it's a cool movie anyway it's not about him right now man the hour is pumpkin head so there you go guys this is my little review of pumpkin head i hope you like it uh comment below and let me know what y'all think if y'all gonna add them to your horror collection or if you're gonna pass on them or you're not a fan of the movie or whatnot it's all good i'm gonna turn this off uh, yeah, so uh, hit the like button if you like this video Hit the notification bell for more evil content coming out. Take care my peeps and evil out Like and subscribe to the evil collector channel and hit the notification bell for more content